Hey guys, this is Briggs. Um, and I'm pissed off. I'm fucking pissed off. I've decided to do a video today based on many things and one of them may be me sharing a bit of my story at the moment. So those of you who don't know me, I am a light worker, I am a, a master healer, master teacher, a medicine woman. I have been working in the field of medicine work with mushrooms for the last almost six years. I work in the space of assisting people with moving through mental dis-ease, etc, etc, etc. So a lot of coaching with regards to ascension, um, being an ascension way shower, an information giver, a teacher, etc, etc. So part of the ascension process is moving through initiations. Initiations, everyone goes through, I've done a video on this before, is basically life is like the school of Hogwarts. Hogwarts moving through different classrooms, which are representative of different spiritual lessons that you need to move through um, to gain insight, understanding on how the laws of the universe play their role within your life and how you learn from these. Otherwise, new experiences enter into your space where you have an opportunity to relearn. The point that I'm trying to make is that we have been given opportunities as a humanity to learn many lessons with regards to our sovereignty for pretty much our whole entire lives. And yet, the biggest lesson presenting itself in the School of Hogwarts at this point in time in history and humanity has presented itself in the form of COVID, which is actually just a distraction. And here we all sit, still not learning our lesson with regards to sovereignty and freedom. And today, while South Africa has moved to a level four, we, we think that we're now free and the streets are full of people running and walking, etc, etc. Some of us even meander onto the beach to see what it feels like to truly feel free and connect with nature, only to be told half an hour later by one policeman that we need to get off of the beach. Why? And everybody just flocks off the beach, including myself, although it was a difficult process for me. I stood there screaming at the top of my lungs just for dramatic flair and to hopefully allow those people within my community at the local beach to see that one man has removed 30 people from the beach during a time period in which over six weeks not even 5,500 people have been infected with COVID but only 103 deaths and that was statistics from the 30th of April. And yet we've all flocked off. And some people even, while we were giving them the information, oh, by the way, you'll also be fined a thousand rand if you don't wear a face mask. Which, what is this? What does this mean? Does that mean shut up? Don't speak. Don't have a throat chakra. Don't have freedom to speak against this. A crime in humanity. This is fucking bullshit. This is bullshit. And I feel angry because people have no idea. Those local people on the beaches, when we give them the information, they're like, oh yeah, makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. Yes, we weren't really clear about the rules. No one is fucking clear about the rules. These are not even laws, they are regulations. While, if we zoom out into the macrocosmic sphere of universal things that are happening, we have governments all around the world involved in trafficking, child trafficking, and sex slaves of children. While I am here at home dealing with people's shadow work, etc, etc. Sorry, this is a personal rant. Yes. But as a light worker, I do not need to sit here 
and just be all kumbaya and transmute, transmute, send in purple rays. Yes, it is my job to sit and integrate information. It is also my job to teach. And it's okay when light workers get angry. Okay? It's okay. Because through this emotion is when I get to share and hopefully spread a little bit of knowledge about freedom. You know, when I started my business, medicine work, plant medicine work, it was all about sovereignty to free the human mind, to free the human heart. So that you can understand that you are a sovereign being. A spirit coming to have a human experience on earth. A training ground to move through your karmic experiences. Again, I mentioned Hogwarts. Freedom being one of them. If we all just lie down and now we all have to go to the shops and buy face masks. It's, it's bullshit. People don't even have money. I have been attacked personally by an ex-employee who is struggling right now and I understand her fear. I understand that but it's not my responsibility. It is however my responsibility to give information and show and express my feelings towards people not unifying together to create change in this. This is bullshit. What are we doing? Just sitting indoors? Yes, we've needed the break. I understand that from a light work perspective. Why? Because we've been so out of it, so out of our Arcadian rhythm, so out of Mother Nature's rhythm that we've actually needed this break and we've welcomed it. And this has been to everybody's advantage. And by everybody, I mean authorities, etc., etc. And this goes bigger than you may even think. I'm not going to go there right now. You can listen to David Icke's stuff with regards to that. Pick up any YouTube channel from anywhere and start looking into the cabal on your own accord. This is not a video about this. This is about what we can do in community together. So this is just me having a video expressing myself and going, are you guys going to just sit back placidly thinking everything is okay? That we now need to legally or through a regulation wear masks that are completely blocking the throat chakra, which is freedom of expression. Bullshit. And again, let me mention those in power, whether it's this country or others, are running huge sex trafficking rings of little children. And we're not allowed to go for a walk on the beach. I don't know, you guys, you know, I started this work with mushrooms to wake people up. To wake people up. This is the great awakening. And now the teacher is COVID, not the mushrooms. I've said this to many of my, my tribe, my family. The teacher is now COVID, not mushrooms. What are you learning? What are you learning through this great awakening? I have no doubt that many of you are dealing with your shadow side. What is it telling you? How are we dealing with it? Are we just shoving it under? Are we moving through our emotions? Are we expressing our emotions? Are we bypassing them? Or are we still afraid? And it's okay to be afraid. There are many platforms now, especially with live stuff on, on, on our social media platforms that can help you calm down the nervous system to deal through your emotions. But those of us in our warrior codex, our indigo warrior codex, which I am one of those people, Souls, star seeds. It is fucking time. And I cannot do it alone. I have an inkling of an idea. It's what I wake up every day thinking about. What is my purpose here as a light worker? Sitting in the shadow in this dark soul of the night at this point in time. How can I be of most assistance without worrying about my bank account? Which, by the way, I too am worried about. But 
I trust. It's okay, there are far greater things at play here for me to worry about my bank account. And I know that not everyone needs to take this role. But right now I teach, I ask you to possibly leave comments of what we can do. And quite frankly, it's that we need to come to a unified space. This is complete separation. Separating us in our little units, not allowing us to look at each other, speak to each other, covering our mouths so that smiles cannot be passed. What is that? Why? What is the agenda? Because I'm sorry, if you look at the statistics, I mean, I, yeah, I just, when did we lose? Our power, how disempowered are you? And when do we wake up? When is it too late? When do we all go, oh, it's way too late now. Shit, we should have done something. The time is now. You know, and just to share, again, those of you sitting in shadow, as the light workers around the world sit transmuting these emotions, I'd like to give thank you and gratitude out to all of those light workers and shadow workers. I thank you for your work because every day is ceremony. Every single day is ceremony since this began so thank you thank you to the light workers everyone else moving through your shadow stuff take responsibility look a little bit past those people that you are pointing fingers at look at your disempowered state look at your solar plexus There will be another video where I do a declaration of my sovereignty. Again, I ask for information on how you believe that we can come together unified even through this separation. Ask yourselves, what is smoke and mirrors? How much? How long? How far? Follow the trail of the money. I mean, it, this is Hogwarts. Enjoy the class. Wise up. Wake up.